Hey everybody, this podcast is proudly sponsored by CardsReviewRelease.com. CardsReviewRelease.com has been supporting the game since Opus 1. Use promo code CHOKABROS to save 10% off your next order. Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of the Choker Bros. I'm your host, Sam Snipe Prime. I'm Zach Bro, And I'm Cody Snodgrass. And we're going to catch up on a few things this week and talk about probably what I consider to be the most exciting news, which is Nationals format, as Sam says, finally. <laughs> Uh, I'm curious yes. to hear your guys' thought, cause, thoughts, because uh, for me, it's 90% satisfactory. But we'll go we'll go into why I say that. <laughs> I'll, I'll take that, an A? Yeah. I mean... Uh, I, I'll talk, anyway. Uh, so, before we go into the format for Nationals, uh, just a little chat. Have you guys done all your prep for it, and tickets, and hotels, and all that yet? Or are you kind of waiting, or... Neither of you have anything. <laughs> have uh, so I haven't bought a thing. I um, I have no idea how I'm going to afford nationals. Honestly, God, I just got back from a week off on vacation, um, and I had set aside some money and I sold some stuff, and I was like feeling really good about it. I was like 100 percent confirmed for nationals, and then I got three, not one, not two, but three nails in my tires. I had to replace three tires um at once on a low profile so it wasn't three nails in a tire it was three nails in separate tires (laughs) i couldn't be so lucky (laughs) if i tried three nails in a tire that's the dream that is the dream (laughs) three nails in a tire no three nails and one of each tires so good lord (sighs) yeah so i have no idea how many foreign nationals they Uh, could just put plugs in one of them was like borderline very possible um that we could put a plug in um but it was also no well it was that and it was right before um dorian was gonna make make or not make landfall and so should we have to evacuate we don't want to risk that and on top of that we have uh we had two two of my uh, friends coming in from out of town this week and uh we were going to be doing a lot of traveling we went to a lot of beaches um so it just wasn't worth the risk of getting an accident or something like like that um, so no, I don't have anything set. I have no idea what the hell I'm gonna do. Um, what about you, Cody? We'll figure it out. No, I haven't booked my flight. I'll probably book my flight on Friday. Um, I'll say I, uh, I bought my tickets this week. I was gonna tell you, Sam. There were Spirit flights for under 200 uh, from Orlando. Oh, that sounds awesome. From Orlando. Oh, uh, <laughs> gross! But that uh, awesome. there were some they're from they're Tampa that were cheaper, uh, just not quite under 200. Um, I look on um, a Tuesday though. That is a real thing. If you look on a Tuesday in incognito mode, <laughs> you will have. It actually said it was like they were like forty nine dollars cheaper than average uh, for those particular flights. For some reason, Tuesdays are just like a good day to buy. Um, I so ironically, that, I, Spirit I flights are all... also Spirit flights are also much much cheaper if you buy them in person at the airport. Um, the day of. <laughs> so no 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 no. So basically. What I'm going to do tomorrow, I'm flying up to Arizona tomorrow morning. I'm going to stop at Spirit, uh, the Spirit uh, kiosk, and just kind of ask them about flights and just see. Because I've heard and, and and read multiple from multiple sources that Spirit's much cheaper if you buy in person. I remember Jacob did that, right? Yes, for he like did. Today. Orlando, yeah. So I'm going, to, I'm going to look into it. But $200, are you going uh, Thursday to Monday? Is that- I No, I'm flying in very early on Friday. So I'll arrive on Friday at like 8 a.m. Uh, so I'm going okay. to the airport at like 4 a.m. Uh, here. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Cool. I might I might just uh, carpool with you. We'll see. We'll see if we um, figure it out. Yeah, it depends on the time. I'm I'm going out of Orlando though. No, I heard that. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just have some. I'm not going with Spirit though. And, yeah. Oh, who are you going it with? I'm going with Delta just because I I want to oh. rack up my miles and it was only I mean it was more expensive. But oh, they, they I gotcha. Okay. But I also got like got insurance you. at this time and all that in case. Hurricane stuff. I got you. How much was your flight total? Four hundred. <laughs> okay, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> well, I upgraded a main cabin for one, so I'm, I'm, you know, treating myself a little. Yeah, <laughs> no, they, they could offer me any amount of mileage <laughs> extra, and I'd be like, wait, hold on, two hundred dollars more, and I get some free miles. No, I'm good. <laughs> no, that's right. a, yeah, if I'm racking up miles from all this traveling, because I always fly Delta, so. All right, fair enough. I was willing to pay a little extra, <laughs> uh, but <laughs> the alternative was flying out of. I think at the time there were no Spirit flights out of Tampa. Uh, that I would be able to return on because all the return flights get me back Tuesday. It, it was overnight red eyes, and I can't do that for work. Uh, that's what I was seeing too. When I was so looking. I'm like, all right, I have to do Delta flight, and those were 600 plus. So I'm like, I'm no way. So I went to Orlando, and sure enough, they were a lot cheaper. But it, it was actually like 300, but like I said, I got insurance and stuff to bump it up. 
Roger, roger. But anyway, <laughs> uh, still don't have my hotel, though. Uh, I guess there's a hopefully this weekend announcement, but um, discount codes happened last year for the hotel. So if you it's some kind of like event pricing, you get uh, discounts. Hopefully that happens again. Uh, if it doesn't, then yeah, I'll probably snap up a room and talk about you know get some people. But all right, well, I, was, I thought I was the one that was like far behind on all this, but uh, <laughs> apparently oh, no. not. I procrastinate till the end. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's cutting it close, but. So, speaking of cutting it close, good, good segue, uh, Dark CC, <laughs> something I'm happy I don't have to do this year. Uh, how do we... None of us have to do it. It's yeah, great. Yeah, it is great. Uh, what do you... So, you said you're flying in early. Um, we can't actually go in the room for the Dark CC, right? Uh, it's a it's card game coliseum, so it's about... Oh, it's off-site. Hour. Yeah, it's oh, about an hour right, away right. from... Yeah. Oh okay. I mean, if you if you want to Uber an hour away, then yeah, you can probably. And go you in. you can if you're judging. Okay, right. <laughs> um, how do we? All right, I have a question about this. I'm just gonna jump right to it. Last year, it was top eight gets into nationals, correct? Yes. No. No. You said what was it? I'm pretty sure it was top, top eight. eight. Oh, top four. No, it was top four. It was top they four. The, oh, okay. They cut, the, they cut the top eight, and then four people. Got oh, that's right. Because I remember. Rice didn't make it, and yeah, okay. <laughs> right. Yeah, um, okay, never mind then. I was going to say, I thought they downgraded this year from eight to four, uh, and I was kind of like, why? It's just four more slots. Like, why couldn't they make top eight? I still think it should be top right. eight get in just because of the risk involved with the event. Like, it's, I don't know. Well, it's also the... But I don't Crystal know. It, it, Cup it, means It, it depends four. if you count it as a Crystal... Yeah. yeah, I don't know. It depends if you determine it as, like, a Crystal Cup or what, what, what you're classifying it as. It's interesting to, to see if they classify it as one thing for some purposes and another for others, you know. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, for world's qualifications, it's not a Crystal Cup. Right. Um, That's the other thing, too. There's no world spot on the line. So, like, yes, it's a yeah. Crystal Cup by, like, format, I guess. But, yeah, I don't know. I feel like there could have been four more invites, which would have been nice. I'm, especially... I'm glad there's not a world spot on the line, though. Oh, 100%. Um, I, well, you know, actually, I think there should be a world spot on the line. And I think that national or national qualified players should be able to play in it. Okay, I think that, that, that's what I was I'm so like. Many, think about there's so many national qualified players that would be attending this because it's the day before nationals or whatever that realistically, um, like it's gonna pass down like infinitely. So, like they should they should just make another Crystal Cup. That's my opinion. Hmm. All right. <laughs> well, all right. Nationals format then. Uh, so if I was clear on it, it is. X around. Do we know how many rounds of Swiss it is? It's calculated, right? Six, six or something like that. Six, yeah. That's less than last year, right? It was seven last year. Seven or eight. Last year was eight. Eight, I believe. Yeah. Different. Yeah. The difference in format, though, and timing is going to make format, that. Sure. It's going to make that really relevant as far as time goes. So it is a three deck format. Two. Or sorry, two, two deck. Two deck. I meant three. Best of three. Sorry. Best, best of, three. of three. Two deck format. Uh, on day one. Then top cut to top 32. Then there's a double elimination bracket, which I'm, I am I like it, but at the same time, a little lukewarm. Uh, here's my problem, though. The 17 through 32 slots play best of ones. Does that make sense to you guys? Yeah, fine, I guess. And they pick it's, one of the decks. Double elimination. Yeah. Well, know. they're single. There's, elim. there's some. Well, I'm saying because it's it's double elim though, right? I mean, oh, excuse me, 17 through 32 single, and then for the, first through to six, get it's out of the losers bracket and into the winners bracket, you have to win a best of one. Yeah. The, but the winners play best of three. To get through the winners bracket, and if they it's get knocked down to losers, it's necessarily complicated. That's what it is. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> but I just feel like if, if Swiss is best of three, it'd be one thing if it was best of one Swiss and then like you bring a second deck for top cut or something. That'd be weird, but it's one thing if you add more, but to take away a round or like a go from a best of three to best of one in top cut just seems so odd to me. I, I don't know. But are you guys looking forward to the two deck format at least? I'm, I'm looking forward to the two deck format. I'm not looking forward to six rounds of best of 370 minutes i'm already absolutely against that so just just win twice right <laughs> twice in a row just 2-0 all the rounds or lose twice in a row either way 
Your choice, I guess. Yeah, but I mean, like, so, like, with, with Riku being banned, like, Mono Water could be a very real, like, great deck to bring. And, like, assuming if either player brings it, the match slows down. If both players bring it, it slows down considerably. And if both players bring it as their first round deck... <laughs> Cody, how are you feeling about it? I mean, I'm not going to show up with Mono Water as my first round deck. But uh, <laughs> So, besides uh, Mono Ice, are you concerned that you can't win with another deck? No. Okay. Not in the slightest. <laughs> No, um, do we have any, obviously you don't want to like give away super text yet, but, um, any idea what good combinations are going to be this early uh, that you're willing to share, I guess. Yeah. There's, there's mono wind, mono water, and mono ice pick between those three, Fair. mix them up, throw in some <laughs> spicy stuff. You'll be all right. Pretty much what I expect to see the entire time. Just mono wind, mono ice, and, and then mono some water. mono water occasionally. Yeah. No, yeah, I like, think mono water will be big. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think mono water will be like super big um yeah i expect other decks obviously um but i mean it's still up as nine right like we confirmed that yeah yep. so it's not like the new ash is going to come out or something i think that card's pretty sweet no but the starters will be legal right oh it will be like a half format right yeah it'd be like uh like opus two and a half when like the zidane starter came out and we had like way too many months between opus two and three well and <clears throat> some of the starters are re really really powerful too so it, they, I mean, they could make a huge impact. What uh, what ones do you have in mind? Like, I, I like just forget Vaughn. what they do, to be honest. Vaughn is pretty good, right? Like, looks at the top so many cards, and you play three drop from them, and then like, if you have five damage or more, I think he does it twice or something silly. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, something like that. And like in a deck with like, so yes, you have a worse. Right? Rec yeah, pain. Like in a deck with the worst Riku, it's still a very real threat. Mm -hmm. So, like, yeah. Seems like you're always going to hit with it, right? Is it like, exactly three or is it three or less? I don't remember. <laughs> Honestly. I can say if it's three or less, you could hit Porum. And, yeah. You, know. you could hit Vikings. I mean, there are a lot of things you could hit. that, And I don't think that that's even probably... I mean, maybe it's, like, one of the more playable cards. But I don't think it's the most playable. There's some other really good cards in there, too. Mm -hmm. um, so, I mean, there's... yeah. I think the format will be a little bit different than, for example, Arizona this weekend. Because um, the the starters, I think, if they came out like a day later or something, would have been legal for Arizona. Um, or maybe it was a week later. I don't even remember mm -hmm. how it is. But you mean a week earlier? A week earlier, sorry. Yeah, a week, a week earlier. Would have been fine. Um, so we'll have a different format from now to Nats. I think, obviously, the European nationals will have a much more a bigger impact what our nationals looks like mm -hmm. and, and including like i think that their their nationals is basically the same exact format so maybe even something doesn't work um if this best of one format ends up being kind of doesn't make any sense or the, or, or they have way too many people going to time mm -hmm. um during swiss maybe they can make some adjustments for ours um i i hope that square enix and hobby japan kind of understand that we would much rather than make some small changes to the format then go with something that does, didn't work. That, yeah, exactly. Uh, I mean, they've been... It seems like they're opening up a little bit to player suggestions, especially with, like, banning Riku off schedule, right? Like, it didn't it go into on, effect it necessarily, schedule. but... It wasn't on, like, a release announcement, though. It was just, like, in the middle of the format. It doesn't have to be... There were, there were things that were released, though, right? I thought it was. I thought uh, they were trying to do it with, like, Opus 8, Opus 9, Opus 10, whatever, and this is, like, in between. I guess it's technically the, like dual deck or whatever you want to call it starter deck uh yeah release. which i think is relevant yeah okay like they can do what they announced that they would anytime they release new cards they would make a, an announcement for bands and stuff so mm -hmm. i we, we, we could likely see another one for opus 10 possibly even i'm not saying we will but i'm saying right. that it, it's not absurd to think that we might yeah veritas and poor no uh <laughs> uh so i guess you started kind of talking about this uh meta actually do you guys have any more thoughts about nationals in general format or anything um my only concern really is going to be the time sure um <clears throat> i mean as long as we have good judge enforcement right like the judging no, not, has not necessarily yeah. i mean it, it has nothing <laughs> to matches. do with the judge yeah i mean not even that like you could have a judge on every single match and people could play reasonably and if if two decks like mono win versus mono 
water or even sometimes mono ice versus mono water can go to deck out. Mm -hmm. um, so if that were to happen twice, you're just not getting in the game three. I'm bad at Riku. I mean, game you, are, you are. You, to be fair, Riku <laughs> did add a clock, right? It added a very real clock. Um, but yeah, I mean, I agree. With, I agree with Cody. I think time is going to be a concern, mm -hmm. and I yeah. think that that anyone listening to this, do not be offended when I call a judge. I'm going to call a judge the very first time you you think too long. Just kidding. Not the very first time, but <laughs> either point. Everyone should be doing that. Everyone should be calling the judge as soon as possible if they feel like they're going to be slighted for time. Yeah. Or just play like Motto Lightning and some other fast decks and liver liver die by <laughs> your rush. And just play just play Turbo Ice. To make it, make it a thing again. It's possible. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, is Cody going to not play Final Fantasy VI cards? I'm literally holding just like an Argath in my hand at the moment. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually just what he holds all the time for good luck. Yeah, right. It's, <laughs> just it's in his little shirt pocket. All time. Got in his wallet. <laughs> no, uh, I will be playing FF6 cards no matter what. Um, but yeah, uh, moving on to Arizona. Sam, you're judging the event, correct? Or ju I what? am a judge at the event, yes. So how yeah. do you feel about that? I'm excited. I'm excited. I was gonna say you've always said right, like the people who aren't playing in events often have better times than people who do. Oh, I'm gonna have the best time there, <laughs> no doubt. See, the thing is, is that like, I don't have to stress of playing, so I'm gonna have a good time. And the event doesn't fall on me; that falls on Richie. So Richie will be more stressed out than I am. So I'm just gonna have the best time of anyone there. I guarantee it. I'm gonna have a great time. I'm super excited about it. Now, who are you judging with? Are there others on staff, or are you kind of one man show, or what's? Really great question. Really fantastic question. I couldn't tell you. I will meet the other <laughs> judges when I get there, and I'm sure that they will be amazing judges and will do a great job. I'm saying this Look, be... we're getting more organized. We're, we're not there yet, though, all right? <laughs> we're not there yet. We don't have these things like plans or, no. <laughs> or communication. No. Yeah. Uh, I mean, possibly. Look, I've been on – to be, to be fair, in complete honesty, I've been on vacation for a week. Mm -hmm. I haven't checked the judges' Discord. Maybe this is all written out and – but I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I say I would definitely be pushing it now. But I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter, right? Just, <laughs> I just opened up the, the judge Discord just to check. <laughs> <laughs> any any news? Uh, it's too annoying to check because I have my V button set to push to talk. So as soon as I go to try to scroll, I have to go back and talk to you guys. <laughs> I hit V, it just slides across, and I'm too afraid I'm gonna hit Enter, and we're gonna be like, "Why is this guy sending a bunch of Vs?" <laughs> <But>. <laughs> But uh, all right, so we're going to play a little classic here. Uh, I'm just going to say some deck archetypes, and you're going to hyper swipe it. Four oh. specifically. Was this planned, or do you just. No, I, yeah, I have it written down here. Uh, oh, okay. So. This is, I didn't know about this. <laughs> here, here's the criteria uh, Arizona meta. Okay. Riku's freshly banned, goes into effect tomorrow. Uh, it's like you said, it's the week before the dual decks come out to kind of shake things up at least a little bit, maybe. I'm give you an archetype. Just give me a hyper swipe. You can choose if you want to elaborate or not. Cody, go first on all of them. On all of them? Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm, uh, a bunch of them are boring, uh, but I'm going to have you give me two at the end. And just just to double check, am I frozen on your guys' screen? Or no. Can you still see me? Okay. Well, it's okay. just your... Yeah. It's just my screen. <laughs> it's just screen. Your, always. <laughs> yep. All right. Great. Ready? <laughs> yep. mono, mono wind. Hype. Okay. Mono water. Hype. Mono Ice. Hype. Okay, those are easy ones. Wind Water without Riku. Hype. <laughs> now, I'm going to ask you a follow-up to that. What uh, would you, like, Yuri Chalinka or uh, just other? Hype. You just, you okay. just played the two-drop Riku. Okay. The, the, the other one. Gotcha. So it's still Veritas? No comment. Okay. <laughs> Mono <Just> Lightning. <laughs> uh, swipe. Uh, Scions. Swipe. Fire Ice. Hype. Earthwind. Uh, we'll go Earthwind, Yuri J Phoenix. Swipe. Earthwind, kind of like a more monster -y build. Like with what? Well, I guess Cleon's not really a thing, but uh, like. Swipe. Poor. That's like, okay. Gotcha. Uh, then give me two that you would. That you want to add to this list, whether it's fire, fire, water, or 
uh, ice light. It's just something that's a little more off the wall that you may uh, think could do well or is going to be awful that you think people will play. Awful that I think people will play? Yeah, so something that like yeah. you could see people thinking is going to be good, but it's not oh. going to be good. Mono fire? Mono earth. Oh, I actually skipped mono fire. I had that on the list. Oh. <laughs> it's going to be a swipe directed at Nick Chanel. And that, yeah, apparently I've heard, I've heard you guys been going back and forth. And then uh, specifically for you, cadets. Oh, God, swipe, swipe. <laughs> um, yeah. Any other thoughts? Any other decks you want to mention? Uh, no, I, I don't want to mention them, but okay. there's some more I'm hyped about. But... Okay. <laughs> Sam, it's a pretty tame list. I mean, I, I agree with everything that Cody just said, except the deck that he doesn't want to mention, hype. It's probably the one I'm thinking of, too. <laughs> it's the one everyone's thinking of. It's good. It's real good. Okay, so but what about you, though, for two other decks that you would say... Actually, well... That same deck? question. <laughs> that deck? Um, uh, people will play it, and they will do poorly with it because it's difficult to play. Um, but it's much better in the hands of someone who's good. And... I don't know. Actually, I, I, I honestly think that uh, Vice Kings um, is good. Very good. And I uh, don't yeah, think, I probably should have put that one in there. Kind of like I think that Vice Kings is much better than people think, and that there's 12 different ways to build the deck um, means that you actually can't prep for all of them. Like, some of them will lose to, like, a, a, a Fina. Some of them won't care about a Fina. Some of them mm -hmm. will, you know, be packed in Sephiroth. Some of them won't. Some of mm -hmm. them, you might even see Agrius bust out. So... I don't know. But I, I think Vice Kings is certainly up there as one of the better decks, and the people should be prepared to play it. I'm excited to see if we're all hyped about the same deck, but we'll, oh, we'll, we, find, out, it, we'll find out after the podcast. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Tune in next week. Yeah, right. <laughs> when it, when Before it, we talk about... What one in Arizona? <laughs> Thank oh, goodness for push to talk. Yeah, right. <laughs> 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 I mean, at this point, every, uh, yeah, I'll just, we'll, we'll glance past that one. Wait, did you guys all say it? I, my my internet like cut out. At that <laughs> <laughs> no, he was I muted. Like... I just mouthed it because I'm not muted. And then you were just staring into the lens, thinking that you're frozen. Thinking about it. Yeah, yeah it's hard. <laughs> I'm looking at my frozen self here, and like, and then you guys are talking and not saying anything, and I'm like, all right, this is. Cool. <laughs> Uh, so those are the uh, primary topics I wanted to cover. Is there anything that I've missed? Because I've been kind of off of Facebook for like a week. I haven't really kept up with things. I know, Sam, you said you've been... I haven't I haven't checked the fans page. I haven't checked the NA page. I haven't checked anything. I've barely checked any team chats. Nothing. I've been out. It's been fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think Kageyama's doing a, a little showcase at the Tokyo Game Show at some point. Um, I think I saw that. When is that? Do you know? It's going on like all this week, like that's what the FF7 trailer dropped at, and that's what oh like, okay. That is insane, by the way. That trailer is. Oh. <laughs> we could talk about a... that. I could talk about it. Just absurd. How Wait, is the whole game I've just in Midgar? I've never been more impressed. The first, the first section of the releasing is in Midgar. Are oh, they doing another one of those partial release at a time thing? The chapter. Listen, it's gonna it be the best game. Listen, have you, you watched the trailer? I watched it's it with no sound. Oh my goodness! <laughs> it's the best thing I've ever seen on the entire internet, and I'm not exaggerating. It's it's literally like mouth watering good. But have you seen a gold it's deck? A, it, it, <laughs> it would be like it would be like if I don't even know. It'd be like if they just made a Halo Two, they stopped at Halo Two, and then ten years later they actually made a good Halo. That's what it'd be like. I did see a gold best deck though on one of the uh, masters lists. It topped, which makes me happy. It was one of the thirty. I guess like all the Masters events are like 30 people. They're like the invite ones or something Zach, like that. No one gives a shit about Golbez. We're talking about the Final Fantasy VII remake. Boom. It looks <laughs> absurd. It's so good. We're talking, about, so a real, good. We're talking about a real villain here. Um. <laughs> <laughs> um, another news, you know, there has, I don't think we've actually talked about the Josh Go band because we, um, nice. We haven't talked about a Josh Go band because oh, I'll just wait until you come back so you can cut it. Your face. We could have just rolled with it, but your face was just. All right, and time in. Zach has just. Oh, I'm, not, I'm probably. I'm probably not cutting it, but we'll see. Oh, great, fantastic. Keep it, keep anyway, it 
<laughs> we, ha- we haven't talked about the Joshua band because we uh, we pulled that one down. Um, that being said, we did uh, interview Joshua a second time. And you I think did. I did. Well, you listened. I was listening, but and I had a lot of points I wanted to make, but I was in the car on Bluetooth, and it was going to sound horrible, and I care about it more than that. So Yeah, so that'll come <laughs> up. Uh, we'll probably just attach it to the end of this video for those that want to hear it. Great. If you don't want to hear it. How long is it? Listen to it. 40, just 45 minutes. <laughs> this is gonna be a long upload wait so how long were you going before i joined i don't know how long did i don't because i my drive home was maybe 20 minutes and you and ended just, like when i walked in the door so i guessed doesn't that answer your question 25 minutes well i don't know how long you're going before that but it was it was like a 45 minute podcast maybe okay. 50 something like that. i don't know well, it anyway, may or may not and i will say it now for people who are actually watching this video and listening to us before listening to the end there's an explicit language warning <laughs> for we have to have one of those little black like strips across it or something. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah, but it's it's good. I think it's I think it's good. I think that a lot of people think that some people think I'm probably too harsh on Josh. Some people think I'm not like harsh enough. Some people some people like try to criticize me for being friends with Josh. Um, but I've been Josh's biggest critic in the whole world. And uh, if you guys don't know that, it, it there's definitely it's, it's definitely true, and, I, and hopefully you guys get the, the feeling that at least I am trying to give him a fair shake, despite the fact that, again, I agree with the band, um, and I say that. Um, but I think it was I think it would be an interesting listen. Well, you agree with the band because of behavioral things, not necessarily because of the actual in-game ruling. Uh, well, the in-game ruling, I, I 100% disagree with the way that was treated right. for multiple reasons. I just but, wanted to make sure that was... Quit. At the end of the, the announcement on the Square Enix page, it did talk about the reasons for the suspension, and I agree with all of those reasons. Mm-hmm. So, and Josh agrees with those reasons too, and that's what you'll get from the podcast, hopefully, if you listen to it. So, all right, we'll look forward to that, guys. Right after we uh, wrap this up, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Zach, anything else we got to cover today, or is that it? Nope. All right, well, guys, we've been the Choker Bros. I'm Cody Snodgrass. And I'm Sam Snipe Prime. And I'm Zach Bro. And tune in for some Josh Gun nonsense. <laughs> hello, 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 and welcome to an episode of the Choker Bros podcast. We're doing a special segment. My name is Sam Snipe Prime, and I am joined by Josh Gun. Josh Gun, how are you doing? Good, good. Okay, so Josh, ch- glad to get this done and over with. Right, so uh, we had re- recorded it originally, um, but we decided to hold off on releasing it until after Kageyama, Hobby Japan, and Square Enix had made a decision. Can you walk us through a little bit about what happened and your thoughts on it? Well, uh, I I was quite surprised when I got the band and stuff. Basically, you know, I'm not a I haven't played TCG. I didn't know. You could get bang, banned for banging your fucking table or like uh, sending some heartfelt messages to to people. So, you know, obviously, like I said, I'm quite surprised about it. But after understanding that, you know, this is like kind of like a common thing in TCGs that, that people ban people for shit like that. I was like, oh, OK, I guess I guess I didn't know that. So that's how I feel. And one thing that I'm most glad about is at least I wasn't banned for cheating that I, that I care about the most. I told them like uh, before the ban, right, that if they uh, accuse, my, accuse me of cheating, right, I will consider suing them for slander directly. And actually, af- like uh, after the ban, like just to, just uh, for clarity and just to, just to talk about it because I'm staying with an with a Oxford graduate lawyer in in I, we actually had like a, a a one hour discussion on like hypotheticals or things i could do and and stuff like this you know like yeah because it's very important to me integrity is the thing that's very important to me so uh and obviously i'm i know i'm not cheating and you know the the way that like uh, i i assume that they they will ban me because they think i was cheating and shit like that and i was really against that that's it and you know, if they tell me I'm banned from my behavior, I'm like, sure, fine, fair. Although I, I still think that, I still think that it is, it is wrong. I think that they, they didn't have like all the variables, uh, very clear. And I, I feel like I don't have my day in court. I think I don't have a fair defense for my actions. Like, uh, so 
that's a that's a shot of it Okay, and so I'll, I'll read this from the official uh, release. It says, Suspension for Player A. It actually doesn't list you by name, but it says, Additionally, considering their actions at this tournament, as well as their behavior thus far, Player A will be suspended from all Final Fantasy trading game tournaments through May 31st, 2020. So, they're talking about um, specifically the behavior after the match. Um, and then also, it yeah. also says thus far. So, meaning as if you had had a, a history of this. So, do you think that this has to do with the social media, that type of stuff? Are they taking that into account or? Yeah, of course. Like, yeah, well, basically at Worlds last year, right? It, I, I honestly feel what they did is fair to ban me because like uh, so-called discounting is like uh, the way I behave is so-called wrong. But I think what I did was, uh, was correct. I can see why they see as wrong. For example, they, they gave me a warning last year because they say I threatened to bitch slap some, someone, right? But here's the thing, like on stream, I, I wrote some stuff. But the thing is like, I never, uh, I feel like I was never the instigator of it. Like if, if I was online and someone tried to talk shit to me, it's kind of like they are cyber bullying. What I did was I respond to them. I never respond like I'm going, I never threaten people, you know? The, you know, one thing that I want to tell people is that like, there's no reason to threaten someone. There's only two reasons to ever threaten someone, okay? You don't want them to do something, and then, you know, you, you, you're basically telling, you're basically want, want them to back off from doing something. Otherwise, you know, you could, you could have a risk, have a, have a repercussion. Um, if someone is a threat and you want to promise them mutual short destruction, and the thing is, no one playing a fucking card game is a threat to me, like in real life, you know, I will crush them. Uh, so what I said was there was one time on stream where someone talked shit to me and I said, listen, you know, like, uh, you, why don't you just tell me that in real life and see what happens? Because, and then, and then, you know, they, they basically shut up and everyone hides under the cloak of anonymity. Right. So I told them, you know, be, you wouldn't, because you know, I would not hesitate to pitch that you know, talk shit to me. And. The funny thing is, I actually confronted the guy at Worlds. He's he's one of the Worlds player, and we actually like made out. I didn't. We did, it didn't get violent or anything. Like we just had a talk about it, and you know, I I, I was kind of right. Like uh, you know, he shouldn't have said those things because you know I I top eight Worlds, so he was like, okay, you know, I I shouldn't have said those things I said. And the funny thing is, Joe Hill right was sitting with me when we had this talk. Okay, and. Uh, come to my defense and I'll say when I say that you know I do not say that I will I, I will I will bitch slap you I say I will not hesitate to bitch slap you and Joe here was like yeah you know I'm the nicest guy but I also will not hesitate to slap a bitch <laughs> if 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 they say some shit you know so that's that's probably a first instance which I got a warning for and then where I say that they might not have considered every variable okay so and I only heard this after the ban was in effect and Toby actually told me that you know uh, I want everyone to know right the funny thing is so what happened after the game and the table I, sh I screamed fuck and the my the player the player across me the, the Japanese player right actually was like yeah like like this kind of look and, and with the angry face like uh, in a way that like I assume because of the com communication language barrier, right? I assume what he said was, yeah, like, man, I agree with you. Like, damn, you know? And that at, at this point, he really got up and said, yeah, bro, it's not your fault. It's not your fault. Like, I say all this obviously in English. I don't speak Japanese. So I said, not your fault. Don't worry. It's not your fault and stuff like this. And then after I was going around, I shook the hand of every coach. And then I told them, and then I was telling this guy, no, don't worry, it's not good. I'll, I'll, I'll come for you in Japan. I'll come for you in Japan. And what I meant, I'm going to go to Japan Crystal Cup and take your spot. You know, that's what I meant. And I heard after the ban, so Toby and Toby told me that they thought I was saying like, I was threatening them. Like, I'm going to, I'm going to like get someone to beat your ass in Japan or something. Like, they, they, that's, that's what they actually thought. They thought that I was threatening them. And this is where I got actually quite pissed and I, I wrote to, when, when, when I heard about it, I wrote to Petro, I'm like, Petro, you were there, I was there. 
why didn't you tell me about it right there and actually get this cleared up and translated? it? And everyone thinks I, I, I'm threatening and that's bullshit. Because I was smiling the whole time. That's not how a person, you know, threatening someone does it. If I was Pedro, right, and someone threatened my friend like that, like, like if I think that someone told my friend that I'm going to go come for you in Japan, right, I'm going to run up to him, shove him against the wall and be like, what the fuck you say? I feel like everyone behaves like a bunch of fucking pussies. And that's the part that pissed me off. And also with the with the Japanese judges and stuff like that, right? I went to them and said, listen, it's not your fault. This kind of thing happened, you know, this kind of thing happens and stuff like that. And then player basically told me like, hey, you have to be very careful with this because if they rule this as a DQ and cheat or cheating, right? Like you a bank could be coming. So you have to fight this. You have to make sure that they don't think that it's they don't rule this as cheating. So I went to the head judge and I shook his hand. I said, listen, decision, everything is fine. But the thing is, if you were to rule me as cheating, I'm going to fight this because this is my word on the line. My integrity is on the line, you know? And, you know, basically I looked into his eyes and he's like, yeah, you know, you have to make sure this is not what's going going on. And I shook his hand, looking in the eye and he shook my hand back and he was like, yeah, yeah, it's okay. You know, it's not cheating. It's, it's okay. I understand. Yeah. Like this. So I was, Cool. And then, you know, I, I, I got some internal memos and stuff later that this, this guy was talking on the judges Discord, like I was cheating and shit. So, you know, I, I just don't understand why people can't say shit to my face, you know, or like, or like deal with it correctly, or even like ask me for, for, for my point or like my day in court, you know what I mean? I feel about situation. So <clears throat> I, I just have a couple questions for you regarding, regarding your previous statements. One being, did they ask you for any type of statement? Did they review any type of statement? Did you give any type of statement? Um, did you guys just discuss, did you discuss this with any, whether it's the head judge, Kageyama, or anything of the likes? Or did you have any type no. of conversation? No, I, I didn't really. And here's the thing, Kim wrote me earlier when while, while they were discussing my ban, right? He wrote me earlier and say something like, I could talk to Kageyama, Kageyama okay? And so I wrote Kageyan some message. I didn't get a response on Facebook. I didn't get a response. And actually, I'm count Because, you know, like, he basically, Tim told me, Kageyama told me to wrote, write him. So I wrote him a bunch of shit. And he, he didn't reply. Uh, so, you know, that's how I, so I, I, I feel a bit slighted by it. So, and like I said, I, I never, no one ever asked me for my statement. Like, no there wasn't a formal inquiry and anything like that. So, you know, because, because of that, I feel like, I, I feel kind of like, uh, not very good about it, you know? Okay. Um, what about your, your conversation or messages with Jason Z? Okay. So, you know, I can, honestly, I can screen cap my messages with him right now and send it to you. Hi, you know, and I, I, I screen, screen cap it and send it to all, all the guys in my, you know, my group chat and shit like this. Okay. So here's the thing in semi finals, right? What happened is this guy angle shoot shot the fuck out of me. Okay. So I feel just a chilinka. All right. Hey, st and st why, say that and, last and part. Why? Say that last part one more time. It cut out um, right. after the semi part. He, I say he tried to angle shoot the shit out of me. He behaves like a like a fucking like a like a pussy, okay? So uh first of all I'm warned about him by players before the game. They told me Jason is gonna try to pull some shit. It feels like he, he's gonna win, like he's gonna pull some bullshit, all right? So what happened was so I have I have I have a I have a I have a like some I have like probably like a chelinka or whatever on the board, I don't know. But um five backups, right? So what I did was I played Diablos, okay? And in my mind, I said, Chalinka, activate backups. I'm also sure I kept his Chalinka, okay? And then uh, I played it, Diablo go to break. I played uh, Bats Vata into my Chalinka, sorry, my Chalinka to kill his Chalinka. And he said, oh, and then he, he just didn't move his Chalinka. Like, what happened? Chalinka dies, right? And then he said, oh, no, you, you only said activate backups with Diablo, so Chilinga doesn't die. His Chilinga doesn't die. 
Okay? I'm like, dude, what the fuck? I said this. I said this, you know, I'm, I'm sure I said it. Maybe, who knows? Maybe I didn't. Maybe my, my mind was thinking I said it and I didn't. But then I said, no, I, I, I said it. I was saying really softly because I know the whole game I was talking really soft. I was thinking about talking. So I was saying like, chilling there, back up like that. So he said, you didn't say it. And he said, well, let's call the judge. I'm like, dude, you know, it's your, your word against mine, right? So the judge come over and stuff like that. They ruled in his favor, okay? So Diablos goes to break, his Chilinka lives and shit. I won the game anyway easily because he was already, already losing, right? So I won the game. I shook his hand, hand after, okay? Everything is done for me. And, and wait, because of this situation is why I might have gotten a warning before my final game, by the way. Uh, I didn't know I have a warning, but you know, apparently this is why I could have gotten a warning. Uh, and, and, and what happened is while well, after the whole tournament, right? Fucking bullshit comes out like where people are saying I, I, I cheated or whatever the fuck. Like uh, he wrote a Facebook status saying like, has it ever happened that after he hit a mega sister or whatever, I shuffle my deck and then the very next attack, I hit a, I hit a important expert. I run three Yasma in my fucking deck, okay? So I murdered him with the Yasma, obviously. I, I think that's what happened. I don't even remember that happening because the game was so fucking easy. So uh, I smacked him and he's like, basically what he's doing, he's trying to imply I'm cheating. I'm on the fucking bandwagon, you know, to like say, to like kind of like explain why he lost and shit. Like the game was fucking easy as fuck. So, you know, I have no idea why he did that. But anyway, so he did that and I got pissed. I wrote him a bunch of messages. I didn't threaten him, honestly. I didn't say I'll get him beat out for like, what the fuck, right? I told him, look, he's a, like a pathetic loser with nothing in your life, essentially. Like, I could, like, give me a second. Let me, let me find my message and read it to you, okay? Okay. All right, give me a second. All right. Let's say, uh, yeah, I say they clear ruin in favor anyway. I still won. It didn't make a difference. And like, by the way, everyone knows you for what you are. I was warned you'll put some shit like this by other players even before we play. You should know no one likes you. I was neutral towards you until now. Now I just think you're a loser and a sad life to, with a sad life to go this low. That's why I said. Okay. I said like this is the most like uh, this like uh, nasty language messages that ma message that I sent. Basically, okay. Just bandwagon on small mistake when everybody knows it. You try to do that gay Diablo's blue shark on me and you want to talk about honor. You're pathetic. Did you not cut my deck after the search? I don't even remember some shit EX first. I just remember beating you easily. Yeah. And then I wrote, by the way, everyone knows you for what you are, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. That's it. Like, and we know this. Every, no one likes him. Like, uh, and I'm glad at Rose last year, I also called him out because he basically like ripped off one of Chris Matiski's content and Chris was very upset about it and shit and like he he, he basically wouldn't apologize so when when I saw him face to face right I told him like why are you such a fucking bitch you know like I, I have no problem saying things to people in real life you know what I wouldn't do is go behind the back and you know go to the so-called authorities about it it's like it's like we're, we're we're in kindergarten or we are in like in like secondary school like uh, high school or some shit isn't there also though something to be said about maybe treating this more professionally so like maybe just not saying anything at all to him i mean think about it like no. how would you act in a business world if this would happen in a business world you probably wouldn't condone yourself this way correct well you you would be surprised the kind of shit people do in business world trust me half 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 of business is a fucking big measuring contest okay like especially at the at the, at the high levels like ceos threaten each other all the time you know it's just on a on a very different level like and and by the way and well the thing is like in in business world right we have like the spoken rules you know like like when two i i can tell you like i i i, I know of some like uh like a billionaires literally who are who are threatening each other and things like that i, I see their internal dialogues and stuff it's, it's hilarious but we we have like this like unspoken rule that you're not gonna go to the press about it like a like a fucking pussy. So I assume that's what's happening. That's what like me and him we're just talking, you know. 
Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I just feel like I disagree with that. I mean, so look, let's look at the past, though, right? So you were um, originally banned from the TCD fans group, also from yeah. the also from the US group. Um, you know, so I, I just feel like at some point you have to realize that, that that type of behavior just isn't welcome in the community. Of course. Like, the thing is, I realize that, right? But the thing is, like, uh, this is a case of, like, I, what I want to do what I want to do is to be happy with myself most of all I do things with, with no apologies you know like when I when I think about things right I don't think about um, other see me and stuff like that but it's about how I see myself I, I'm banned from the first TCG group because I was telling everyone that uh, Gasper is a fucking problem and anyone who says otherwise is a fucking idiot you know and I believe that and Gasper got banned on getting gas to get banned just to have fucking idiots coming in and say guess what's not a problem because i beat it with my 40, 48 experts deck how, how, how are these idiots contributing right this is like this is why i got banned on the on the on the original tcg pitch and uh right, and right, but why I got banned, whether they're not whether they're right or not isn't relevant whether whether they're idiots or not isn't even relevant uh mm -hmm. The fact that you know maybe just not attacking them would be a better course of action. I agree. I I completely agree with you. I I I, I really think that like I have better things to do in my time, and you know maybe I sh I shouldn't have done it. I I do agree that I shouldn't. Have, I maybe I shouldn't have done. It. But the thing is, if I don't do it right, I won't be Josh G. Like, and I want to be. Who I am, I want to be like Josh Key. If I if I feel like doing something, I'm gonna do it. And 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 this is like the the way I feel, right? It's like a lot of times, like, uh, and I'm and I feel like a lot of times I'm being attacked first. Like, I feel like what happened is like someone like uh, how I feel about this whole situation, right? It's like it's like in school, someone bully you in the face, he runs and tells the principal. That's that's like situation that's happening you know from my perspective yeah i'm just trying to i'm just trying to i'm trying to be as fair to both sides as possible but mm -hmm. at the same time i mean i just i completely can see how like that type of behavior just shouldn't be welcome in this community i mean final fantasy mm -hmm. TCG two years ago had what I think the best community out there and it wasn't even close I mean it's just an utter pile of shit right now um, just the way people are treating each other and so if we could all just treat each other a little bit better I think that it would go a long way I, I get what you're saying I, I really do I, I get that you want to be Joshka but at the same time you got to also realize that like Final Fantasy TCG isn't just about Josh it's about everyone coming here and trying to have a good time right and so if we're all coming here to have a good time then we could we could all just be a little bit nicer to each other i feel like i agree with you but the thing is i i did not start like uh, i feel like i i did not start this trend like uh i have never aggressively wrote someone some fucking like bullshit messages and stuff like that like you know if you i don't know if you know like history and shit like i have like joe hill was even complaining about how people would write him messages like your shit your, you suck you never won a tournament in so long who are you to write all these content and shit like like without him provoking anyone and shit like this. Yeah, those, you know? pe those people are trash. Yeah. Yeah. And the thing is, those trash people, the same trash people are, are the ones like, are, are, are the ones coming after me, like coming and, and talking shit to me. Like, am I gonna like lay down and take it or what? Like, who, like who's there to like, to like say, tell them that they can't do that. You know, I got, I'm gonna be, I, I gotta tell those guys to fuck off myself. Yeah, I mean, I... I, I honestly can see it both ways. Isn't it just easier yeah. to block those people, though? I mean, oh, I I agree with you. Like, but like I said, you know, like like I said, I could block block them, and I probably should block them. I'm saying, you see, I agree with you. I say that I should block them, but that's not what I do. Like, that's not what I want to. Do. Okay, so fair enough. So, so let me just summarize, just to make sure. You're obviously pissed off about the whole situation, but you also understand that the behavior was not. Was was something that should have never happened. Of course, I agree with that. Okay, so then let's talk. I definitely agree with that. Let's 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 talk about June first, twenty twenty. 
First off, mm-hmm. are you going to come back to the game? And second, and the second question, if you come back, are we going to see the Joshka of yesterday or our new Joshka? Oh, honestly, if I come back to this game, like, we'll, um, honestly, I will, I will, I will ignore the haters because the way I see it, right, like, 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 it's not worth it because, uh, the things, to, to be honest, I'm, I'm not, it doesn't concern me to, to get banned or anything like that. Like, my life doesn't change. In fact, my life could be enhanced, you know, because I, I, I'm spending more time doing different things. Like, I'll, I'll give you an example. Like, uh, the, I got banned, right? I'm supposed to go to Singapore for my tournament. Even, win or lose, even if I won the tournament in Thailand, I would have gone to Singapore for the tournament. And that weekend, tournament was happening i had a crazy party with like a like a huge table a hotel a w a suite at the w on saturday where i closed like uh, one of my business contests for for for, for more than a million dollars and you know we we put up with with uh with this like with with this super hot girl basically and then the the, the next day we hooked up with another super hot model so you know my life gets better if i don't fucking play the game you know <laughs> So that doesn't worry me. But the thing is like, uh, I don't know. It's not worth it in the sense that like, time that you spend responding to someone is, is, is the thing that's not worth it. I don't care I get banned and stuff and it doesn't affect me, but I guess I just like, you know, whatever, you know, I, I just play, play the game and like free flights and shit. Like that's all I see is like, when I when I when I when I win see crystal cards and go to and get like a free flight to LA or like or like London and shit like that, I'm happy because I'm I'm flying to those places anyway, you know. Basically, I see it as like winning a thousand dollars for 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 nothing. Right, and so, but at the core, at the core of it, you obviously have to, if if you know if you make as much money as you seem to say that you do, at the core of it, if you spend this much time playing. The TCG, you have to also be playing it because you actually enjoy it, correct? Like it's just yes, I I definitely enjoy this game, but not as much anymore. And you know, I I don't know if anyone uh I I, I feel like it's well documented. I said it many times, but I started this game as a fucking research, you know, because uh I see Hearthstone right is a half a billion dollar revenue per year, number one for for digital TCG, and there's no number two. And we all know that Hearthstone is a fucking shit game. And I know that after I started playing FF at a high level, and I did it as research to design my own game. And now, after I get banned, I'm fucking happy because I'm like, let's fucking start designing my own game. I've already done, I've already done that for the past year. And you know, I don't know if it's documented. I've been paying Toby this whole time since uh, last year uh, to basically work with me on designing this game. And we come up with some really fucking interesting shit I'm focused on right now I'm designing this game and I feel that my game has a and you know we are gonna have like very soon like the prototype and my game is uh has a superior system to FF because I see the issues with FF for example in FF right I feel like uh, the whole idea of discarding cards for CT is a very good mechanic and so that you know if someone has a better curve than you you could like dump all your hand and win the game that way anymore now it's opus it's opus nine and you do that you get hit by fina ball boy it's over right shantoto whatever the fuck it's over canning right makes it is it's basically gone it doesn't give an advantage to it just too far okay so that's a so it makes it that a bad a bad like now 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 it's like a bad kind of like a not so good mechanic it doesn't scale very well so for example my game will have like a free resource curve so it's like force of will in the sense that every turn you get a free resource. So, you know, you can, you can always play the game. So, so you know, similar I'm, to Hearthstone. I'm Hearthstone on... has the same type of thing, correct? Exactly. But my, but my game is also like more fun than Hearthstone because of the, of the mechanics and characters itself and things like this. Like, uh, and we took a lot of inspiration for FF. I got everything I need from FF is what I'm saying. I got like, I got to understand myself better by through playing the game at high level, like understand how to like keep myself calm <laughs> sometimes. Uh, I understand like uh, different ways of thinking. I understand TCG to a very deep, deep level. 
and and that's all I need from the game. So I really got what I needed, and now I actually need to off my ass and fucking like do some do some work because I wanna I wanna run companies like uh, I haven't like run companies in a while. I just invested in shit. So I'm like, uh, I want to run companies again. I want to be an entrepreneur again. And I basically been sitting on my ass in a fucking perpetual holiday for the past like, actually three years. I've been sitting on holiday for three fucking years, you know? I was like, I just came back from a two month holiday. I went, you know, Hong Kong, Shanghai, Cambodia, Phuket, Bangkok. Like that's what I was doing for the past two months. Like I do nothing. I basically stay in a fucking middle aged frat house with a bunch of like, who and all we do is like you know have after parties okay so so let's say you start your own let's say you start your own your card game it gets off the ground are you gonna put up with that type of toxicity that you know the same toxicity that you displayed towards other people though and then if and if so how do you expect the game to grow that's a great great question you know what i mean like uh first of all right i i, I was really i was really me and toby were really talking about it like i'm like I'm gonna 100% ban angle shooting in tournaments. So if someone fucking angle shoot, they get a warning. Two times angle shoot, fucking be cute, okay? Like <laughs> if I ever have a game like that. And the thing is, like, uh, well, you know, I feel that the players, uh, uh, the players should regulate themselves. I mean, like, look at League of Legends, right? Like, like it's the most fucking toxic crash pool in the in the history of gaming, and they're doing fine. They're the number one game in the fucking world, you know? Who gives a shit? You know what I mean? I, I but the thing is like if or like uh kind of like I I really feel like I'm I'm gonna be more against cyberbullying than anything. Like cyberbullying kills people every day. Sure, but haven't, you know, I haven't haven't you done your fair share of cyberbullying in this game? I don't think so. I think like like here's the thing, I hate bullies. Like even when I was in school, right? I'm not I, I've never been the bully. But I'm the guy who will stand up for the guy getting bullied my history and i feel in this game i'm standing out for myself i talk shit back that's it i am never have you like be honest with me have you ever seen me like attack someone i know i've, I've called people idiots and stuff okay i mean it, it seems I've like you've been pretty aggressive towards jason z it seems like you've been pretty toxic towards players who who haven't made the worlds for example but you know that that is for a different reason i hope you know like i said I, I i do take all your points in consideration and you can tell like i'm a i'm a rational person right? i'm a reasonable person and when i say well, what people perceive as toxic right when 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 i call for the gas bank and stuff like that and people are, are are basically saying this and that and all i'm saying is like i i really believe and i still believe that okay and you know, there are people who call it elitism or whatever the hell. Okay, but there are people who know what they're talking about, those people that talk. It's simple as that. Okay, there is a right or wrong answer. Life, that, that's life. I don't like the whole like PC culture going on where you can't say someone's wrong. There are, there are gonna be if someone who's right, someone's wrong. So what what's wrong? Yeah, but, but what's, what's right or wrong can still be a matter of opinion. I mean, there are plenty of Worlds players, um, Worlds qualifiers players, who think that the Jesper ban wasn't even needed. Well, like, uh, but a majority of the Worlds qualified players do think it is needed, right? Like a huge majority. I'm talking about overwhelming majority. It's like climate change, you know? <laughs> so, did you just compare <laughs> the Jesper ban to climate change? I know, I I'm joking. I mean, like you know, like like I say, ninety percent of scientists uh, agree to climate change. Ninety percent of those players would agree with gas for them. Ten percent, like who doesn't agree? Like that's that's their opinion, right? Like, what should we follow the ten percent also? Yeah, but see, there's there, there's science behind one of these things. Yeah, I guess. I mean, like like I say, you know, you know, if you like, you know, it's an argument to policy to appeal to a tolerant authority, sure. right? Obviously, like, sure. Yeah, yeah. That I'm not saying that they should listen to much. Hundred percent, like listen to us because we are we are we are world players and blah blah blah. But I wrote a fucking thousand page, a thousand word article about it. Like, I took time off my. I was in Paris at the time, Paris Fashion Week for fucking holidays, and I wrote a thousand a thousand word article with points with one point two point three points about why it should be banned, and all of those are based on fact and logic. 
I mean, it's I, not like I, I came out of nowhere and, and come out of those shit. I mean, I'm not disagreeing with you for, with the, with the with the band. I mean, obviously, I was a big big vocal person in saying that that car should be banned. It was absolutely disgusting and, and boring to play against and not fun and it limited deck design and all that. I agree 100%, but I, I disagree with the handling of, of calling anyone who disagree with you trash. Um, you know, and, and listen, I, I try to give everyone a fair shake and sometimes I, sometimes I get uh, berated for it. I, I get berated because I give Miles uh, G a chance to, to express his thoughts on my podcast. I, I get I get all kinds of trash talk because I let Josh Gug get on the podcast and express his his thoughts. But at the end of the day, I believe in complete fairness, and I believe that everyone should get their story out there, and everyone should have an equal say. But I also think that that applies to world's players and non-world's players. I think that just because there's six, there was uh, sorry, there's thirty two world's players, thirty two people do not represent the competitive community i'm not saying that again you are wrong here but i think that a lot of times people just spike tournaments and then they go to worlds it does not mean that th their opinion is any better than others of course i agree with that then then give me an opinion you know those those people who i'm talking about who i call idiots they didn't give any opinion they didn't tell they didn't give me logical reasons why gasper is wrong i know i didn't in, in those comment trends right i i swear to you you can go and look through history right now i guarantee you because i don't remember anything I do not see a single real argument, like a logical point for any of them. What their arguments are is Gasper is a problem because I can beat it with my 40 x That's that's literally the argument. Most of those people. I, I you can check it yourself right now if you want to. Okay. For them fucking with it. Because the way even even if we're not talk, even if we're not talking about the context of the game, the way they reacted and their answers made them a fucking idiot. Okay, so I want to talk one. More, I want to talk a little bit more about this uh, under the reason for suspension. This particular line. Additionally, it has been confirmed at the end of the tournament that this tournament uh, that this player berated other players and a judge about the decision and the results. I'll be, uh, on a messaging app using this kind of language should never be direct towards someone else. So, yeah. did you harass a, a judge over this decision as well? Uh, no, I did not harass him, especially over a message app. I told you what I said. I went to the judge and I shook his hand. Okay? I shook his hand. I told him, listen, I'm, I'm okay with your this. I'm okay with your decision that, you know, I love for the game loss. But if you were to say that I'm cheating, I'm going to fight it. But not like I'm going to hit you. I'm going to fight it. Like I'm going to, I'm going to deny that. I'm going to fight it. I'm going to deny that. I'm going to lobby. I'm going to do whatever the fuck it takes and say that I wasn't cheating. You know, that's why I said and this guy. And, and of, of course, apparently this guy is, is, is a bitch ass. He look at me in the eyes like, yeah, okay, sure. And then later, like, like, like start, start, start crying about me some, somehow, you know, like if he had a, like the thing is the whole, the whole situation for me, feels like a giant pussy show because like if any of judge have a fucking problem with me, or call me into a room, sit me down and I'll fucking talk to them. I will, I'll, I'll, I'll tell them what the fuck I think. You know, no one did that. No one confronted me. No one said anything. And then after that, it's like it's like a bunch of them like huddling together and like you know like like Josh this, Josh that. Yeah, and so I'll give my perspective a little bit because my perspective, um, just on the whole situation, we had actually recorded a podcast with uh, Zach and Cody, and I, I kind of gave it a little bit of perspective. Um, I ended up deleting it um, per, per requested by by the mothership. Um, that being said, there was reasons for that um, that I won't go into, but I will say that my perspective on this. If the ban comes from your actions resulting in slamming the table and yelling the word fuck very loudly, it's absolutely ridiculous because the the game loss, according to the thing, came because you had already had, uh, you know, a, a warning or whatever. Um, uh, from getting an angle shot, can you imagine? If, if I had the warning, it was from before because I got angle shot. And, and the thing is, I, I don't, maybe I'm too focused on the game, but I don't remember telling me officially, like, this is a warning. I don't remember that. I'm okay. Me, well, regardless, if you make a decision, like, let's say you say, um, let's say you say Diabolus backups, uh, then you play um, Fina, then you play Bart Servada, and then you play your Chalinka, and then you ask why your opponent's Chalinka doesn't die, and your opponent says, you didn't target it when I cast a Diabolus, right? And you say, well, yes, I did. He says, no, I didn't. 
and the judge sides with player B in that in that case. Regardless, mm-hmm. that wouldn't be a warning or a caution for you. And so oh, there we go. Then that's good. That's great. Then that means I don't have a caution. And this whole thing. Well, that's that's perfect. what that's what I'm concerned about. Is is if I'm being oh. honest, it says. Um, Let's see. This makes benefits catch him. Let's see. Therefore, it's just pronounce a gain loss rather than letting it go with with a warning and a mulligan. Let's see. I'm trying to make sure I, I read exactly because I don't, I don't want to say anything that wasn't exactly um, said. Give me one second. Let's see. Okay, and during this tournament, they had they had been cautioned and had received a warning already. Now, you claim, and this is your word versus you know the judge's word, so it's very it's very easy that I, I want to take the judge's side here. Um, that you had received a warning, that you had not received a warning or a caution, um, yeah. and the events in which you're telling me that could have led to a caution or warning don't seem like things that would have been a caution or a warning. There we go. Yep. Um, that's my, that's and me. so slamming that's the, slamming the table and, and, and screaming when you're upset is mm-hmm. almost justified to me because you were treated unfairly possibly in, in your eyes and probably in my eyes as well um, I wasn't there so I can't I can't really say much I wasn't I wasn't there the judges there no more than I am and I trust that they did the jobs to the best of their ability but I just disagree with this warning and game and uh, caution symbol because I feel like a player should be f- made very aware that they were given a warning or a caution. That being said, I'm 100% for a suspension, um, giving the the messages that happened afterwards. Um, although you know, I, again, you've given your your side of things, um, but at the same time, whether you meant. Whether you meant I'm coming for you in Japan as I'm going to come and win your crystal crop or I'm going to send some super ninja assassin to murder you um, really isn't up for your interpretation. It's up to theirs, uh, which is fair. That's why you have to be careful with your words. I actually and Pedro actually asked me if I want to say something to to that player, to 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 the opponent Japanese player. And I wrote them a long messages. I wrote them a long message. I'm like, listen, you know, this is not what I meant. And you know, do you know what happened after the, the after the tournament and they left? Finals, right? I played against the the Earth guy, right? Uh, and 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 he gave me a chocolate. I and I I wrote to Pedro, right? Uh, 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 two days later, I'm like, hey, can you please tell this guy, I'm sorry, uh, that I forgot to take his chocolate. Like, does that sound like some fucking asshole who's gonna threaten to beat someone else, like, over a fucking car game? No, but whether it sounds like that or not is, is irrelevant to me or to you. Of course. You know, of course, but the point is, you, you, do you agree? I agree with you. But do you agree that if they have that concern at the time, they should come up to me and fucking, like, make, like, like make it clear? I think that, that I think that if it was known that you had said something physically threatening to one of the players, you should have been immediately removed from the venue, DQ'd and banned, banned permanently from the game. I agree with that, 100%. I agree with that 1,000%. And the point is, no one came up to me. Everyone was smiles, okay? That's the thing. I went to every judge, shoot each of the Japanese judges' hands, and say, it's not your fault, don't worry, I'm good. And then they had the face of like, Oh my condolences! You know, obviously I don't understand what they're saying because no one speaks English. But their 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 face was like, oh, you know, it's okay. I'm sorry for this. Uh, you know, they, that was their reaction. So I, I worked for, for every judge. What what the fuck? What what the fuck is this shit right now? And I really thought that everyone liked me. And then uh, after the tournament, I heard that everyone like like no one fucking likes me, and and people were were all rude and against me. So I was like, wait, you know, I'm I'm missing something here, you know. Yeah, you know, <laughs> I, I I get it, I get it, and I and I get that perhaps yeah. in your instance it seems like people were that you were treated unfairly because you're Joshka, given your history. Yeah. But yeah. you know, maybe that's maybe that in itself is kind of fair. Like maybe our behavior um, 
should you know maybe our behavior says something a little bit about ourselves for example like maybe if you come back and you want a fair shake you treat people with a little bit more respect and then you get more respect in return and that type of sort of thing yeah i agree with you but the thing is about one thing i have to stop you there because i i don't think i don't treat people with respect I, I'm, I'm not saying that you don't treat anyone with respect i'm, I'm saying i'm saying you don't you're not always the most respectful person of course i can agree with that yeah I, I, I have this thing where like I'm, I'm not I'm not for like the American freedom of speech and shit because I think there are idiots in this world and you know idiots should not should not should not talk should not speak because when idiots talk we get like anti vax movements we get people we get fucking babies dying okay that's that's how I feel so I, I mean like if, if if that's not respectful of me to feel that you know there, there are people in this world who shouldn't open their mouths then you know I then it's, they are not respectful I want to save some babies lives you know? <laughs> and that's something that we talked about in our previous podcast that never got posted. Yeah. We talked about a little bit of the culture of yeah. of Josh and, you know, um, the culture of just saying what's on your mind and, and the culture of where you're from. And it also that kind of tied into how how you didn't want to be perceived as a cheater because that's something that's very serious in your culture. Very, very serious to me also. I mean, like, you know, I, I, I give talks sometimes, you know, when at my, my, my friends uh, – other businessmen, so uh, like their their whole like mentorship group and stuff like that. And my first rule in business, right, is to have the right principle, is to have integrity and shit like that. Shit over a card game, right? It makes me a hypocrite. And on top of that, like, why the fuck would I do that? It's it's, it's, it's ridiculous given the kind of shit I've been through in my life. I mean, I had a I had a near death experience before. I have like built companies out of nothing before, and and for someone like. I mean, like, you know, without being either egotistical, but for someone like me to cheat in a fucking card game is offensive. It's ridiculously offensive. Yeah, I mean, isn't there some sort of cultural cultural um, part of Joshka's past that also deals with respect, though? Hmm. In my in my past, right when 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 I was growing up, I I, I was brought up by uh, like my first business mentor was this guy called Chatri Chatri uh, Trisparikal. His name Chatri Siotong, right? So he's founded the number one gym and number one uh, MMA promotion in Singapore. I used to work for him. The the way I see how he do, deals with things, like like you know he and and one thing I could learn from him is he he have a public persona. So in in public, like in the media, he's like this like. Uh, like a like a honest guy who's like all about principles and shit. But then you know behind like secretly to me he's like he's he's, he's saying different things. You know he's like he's like people are idiots they shouldn't talk. And the first thing he ever taught me in business right was that you talk, only listen to the top, top people. Only listen to top people. Never listen to people. It's like you it's like getting a recommendation from someone who only eats a restaurant recommendation from someone who only eats McDonald's. You know. My the first one of the first business that I ever received in life, you know. Yeah, so but like you, 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 can go, you can go to a dinner with someone who only eats McDonald's. You don't have to eat McDonald's. You can go, you know. You can, you don't have to yeah, listen I know, to I'm these people. Getting, getting a rec- food recommendation, like if someone who only eats, eats McDonald's tried to recommend you a place to get filet mignon, mignon, right? Like you should never listen. To like that's that's the first lesson I got. Correct. I, I agree with that, and and you know. In card games and everything else, and, and whether and for me in life is whether it's volleyball or, or basketball, I agree with always surrounding yourself with the, the smartest. Make it, make sure you're the dumbest person in the room is a lot of times what you hear. You know, you always yep. want to make sure that you are surrounded by people um, that are much smarter than you. But that's not always going to be the case. And what I guess I'm trying to get at is, Josh, you don't have to tell that person that you are smarter than them. And there's some wi- there's some wisdom in not doing so. I agree with you, and 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 I I I, I feel, like I said, I, right now, right, the, the things I I feel, I, I actually feel a bit, like, uh, because I feel like I have to keep defending myself about it. But the thing is, I don't, re- I really don't think, I really really don't think, and I I like I say, if any people are listening, right, I I'm, I'm, I apologize if I come off that way. But I really don't think I do it without this. I don't. Like maybe I did it in the past, but I really don't remember 
me, for example, okay, like like telling someone like uh, their opinions don't matter for no reason, unless I'm arguing a point, a point like in the case of Gaspar Weber, and someone want to make a counterpoint, and then I'm like, where's your credentials, you know? And and they are not coming up with a logical argument anyway. When they when I'm making a point and they come up with a counterpoint and without uh, any logical backing or any like like meat to the argument, right? Then I say, where's your credentials? But I've never proactively went out and said, you guys are all fucking idiots. You know, that's that's really how I feel. All right. Well, Josh, uh, first off, I do want to thank you for, for taking the time to join me. Uh, this is true. this has been enlightening mm-hmm. for, for many different reasons. I do want to say that, you know, I hope that you do come back and, and may or in June of, of 2020. I hope that you do come back and that, you know, you're, you've practiced an octagon and, and, and you can at least come back and defend your title so that you, you're not the scrub who, who uh, you know, that we get to say, yeah. well, who, who are you? You, you? you don't even make the worlds this year. Um, yeah. Yeah. But, I, but I also do hope that you come back with a new sense of, of respect for the community, mm-hmm. um, especially if, you know, you want the community to support your game in the future. We hope that, you know, mm-hmm. that there's a, there's a level of respect that goes both ways. I do, I do love the community and I really, for example, I, you know, I have a lot of respect for what you're doing with the podcast and stuff like that, you know, I just think that you should do it for more money, but anyway, <laughs> it, but like, I, 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 you know, I respect people like that, I respect players like Joe Hill, I respect every, every I, I respect people in general, but, you know, like I say, maybe I should change the way I speak and change the way I uh, kind of interact with people that people find too aggressive. I... I, I, I do respect people, but yeah, and, and just to comment uh, on the on the more money people. part, I, I I've actually had like four or five people recently ask me like, well, you know, why don't you have a Patreon? Why don't you have this set up? Why don't you have that set up? Um, I actually just got that question this weekend. Why doesn't Chokebos have a Patreon? And, and and again, we do it for the love of the game. We one hundred percent. We've always said that we're always going to do this completely free of charge. Uh, you know, if anyone's asking, no, I did not charge Josh for this interview. <laughs> um, every everything's free. You know, we we love the game and we want to see it grow and. You know, and that sometimes that comes with confronting whether it's, uh, you know, some of the more controversial people and in, in the community. You know, I think that everyone should have a, a, uh, a freedom to talk. And I know that goes against kind of what you've just been talking about, but it's just um, just it, it's my philosophy that that everyone has a voice and should be heard. Um, yeah. But I do. That's correct. And I really think that I, I like I, I told you, I love your production value. Like if you were to do this for a. Uh, uh, like like something else which is like much more wider audience right you you, sh- you could easily make like you know you can easily make like four five k a month from from it because your production value is super high you have like the music animation and shit <laughs> like you know, i haven't worked this hard on something for a very long time myself you know Thanks. I mean, I imagine, I imagine that if I was getting paid to do it, it'd actually be a whole lot better. But uh, we're we're just uh, three guys that like to chill out and have fun and talk and talk uh, some shit about Final Fantasy. But uh, I appreciate those words from you, Josh. Oh, by the way, I, I just want to say one last thing. Like, for any, if there were any people that doubt me and think that I'm fucking cheating or some shit, I want to say that in Swiss round, right, I faced the same guy. And I, I actually gave him the take back, okay? I didn't call Josh, didn't do anything, okay? And, uh, well, I, I mean, I'm too lazy to go in exactly what the take back was, but it was a very blatant one. Like, I could have just, like, not let him take back easily. Take it back, so. You know, right. that's not some, someone who, who is going to cheat. That's not something someone who is going to cheat will, will do. Um, for the for the most part, although you know we talked about logical fallacies earlier, that's that is also a logical fallacy, right? Because uh, there's there's much more to go. There's much more on the line in the finals or in the semifinals, et cetera, et cetera. But I, I agree with you. It doesn't it doesn't sound like it, again. What happened doesn't look like you cheated, and you weren't banned for cheating. Luckily. And and, and the thing is, uh, by the way, I like the game where I let him take that was my second loss. It it was going to be my second loss. Right. So it's, it's quite a lot on the line. Right? I could have like straight got DQ right there. I mean, I straight got knocked out from right there. All right. Well, Josh, I appreciate you joining us. Um, I look forward to hearing from you soon and uh, keep in touch. All right, man. Thank you. All right, Josh, take care.
Hey, everybody. Thanks for taking the time to listen to the Chuckle Bros podcast. Be sure to drop us a like and comment on our Facebook page or subscribe and comment on the YouTube page. If you have any comments and suggestions, especially about Cody's awesome hair, feel free to drop us a DM. And of course, don't forget to check out CarsVVLease.com and use promo code Chocobros to get 10% off your next order.